What's up with it, bro? There ain't nothing to it but to get to it. Most definitely, man. Yeah. It's an honor to have you here. It's a pleasure. Most definitely. Um, introduce yourself, let the people know who you are. Well, I'm Silk Smooth, STL Pioneer. You know, what else you need to know? He's an STL Pioneer. He's a long way. We don't, yeah. we don't just jump off the guns and get straight into that, man. Okay. We gonna slow it down a little bit. And um, I guess, talk about your early upbringing in St. Louis, man. Yes, well, for us in hip hop, or uh, just in life, just in life. Um, let's just describe. Start off this and say, um, what part of St. Louis did you come up in? Well, I grew up um, in Laclede Town. You know, where Harris Stowe mm -hmm. took over. Yeah, I grew up in Laclede Town and uh, in the Ville on the north side. My grandparents stayed in the Ville, and uh, my mother stayed in Laclede Town. So I was always back and forth from the north to uh, downtown. Okay. If you know about the Laclede time. Yeah. yeah. Briefly. We don't, we, don't, we don't dive into it, though. Yeah. But briefly, I know a little bit about it. I heard a little bit about it. I'm Let you explain it to me, though. How would you describe the Laclede town growing up in the 80s? Well, Laclede town, it was kind of like a, um, it was like a project. It was, um, when I was, um, it started out like a mixed community. You had like, uh, Chinese people, Mexicans, and then over time, you know, it got a little more ghetto over time. But uh, I went to Waring, that was on Compton, that's where the uh, Chavis Center mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty much where I learned hip hop. You know, we used to have breakdance group there, we used to do graffiti and all of that type of stuff, hooping and Freestyle, you know, normal kid stuff, being a menace, you know. And uh, for us on the north, I used to go with my grandparents and over there. And we used to, uh, I used to work with my grandfather as a kid. And, you know, just pretty much your normal child life, you know. Football in the streets, you know. Uh, you know, back when kids used to hang outside, stuff like that. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, we played Atari, ColecoVision, stuff like that, you know. Um, just listening to your music, I'm going to ask you this question. Um, at what age do you remember jumping off the porch? For starting to get into hip-hop or trying to get in the industry? No, I ain't saying the industry. I'm saying jumping off the porch into the St. Louis life, I just say that. Well, so most people don't start off. Growing up as a black man, some people don't always go this route. But like I said, just based off listening to your music is why I'm asking this question. Is um, when did you jump off into the street life? I would say that. Well, in the street life, I I probably jumped off into the street life like I was fourteen or fifteen. You know, I seen other people in the neighborhood because I remember like when we talking about street life or hip hop. Street life. Street life. Well. I seen other people in my neighborhood. I remember when they first uh, brought the whole crack ep epidemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to be like, oh, no, I ain't fucking with that. You know, can we cuss on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I ain't fucking with nothing like that. And then I seen all the, uh, you know, everybody was getting starter jackets. And, every, you know, people was getting nice things. And then I start dipping and dabbing in it. And then I was like, you know what? I could use this to... Uh, fuel my uh studio money to get you know what i'm saying so i pretty much got into it I, initially i got into it because i seen the things people were getting and then i thought well hell i could keep this money and you know really try to put something together mm -hmm. you know as far like you said putting something together as far as going to the studio yeah, yeah, which and, you and yeah you know if you need we needed some equipment or something we need to rent something you always have you know money to do so 